All right. Uh, good morning. Thank you for joining us for our overview of our Alibi Cloud Solutions. Uh, my name is Bill Rogers. I oversee the sales organization here at Alibi Security, and we're excited at taking the opportunity to share our Alibi Cloud and hybrid solutions to our dealer partners in just expanding our uh, solutions offering. And just to start off, for those of you that are new to Alibi and uh, not too familiar with us, your Alibi has been around for, for well over 30 years. You know, we're a value-added technology provider. Everything from video surveillance to uh, access con control, cloud-based security solutions, which we're talking about now. And a lot of the benefits of Alibi security is, is how much we've invested in our business enablement services from our partners. Everything from our sales team, uh, which you're going to visit with a, a couple of, of leaders of our sales organization to the direct technical support we have. We, we have a two to one sales to tech ratio uh, to our professional services department that does everything from uh, pre-programming to integration to, to custom branding to all of our marketing and, and business enablement services from spinning up websites to working on email campaigns, lead generation, things like that. So, you know, a lot of things that we do to really partner with our dealers at growing our business. And if you haven't done business with Alibi for a long time, one thing you'll learn is, is that's what's important to us, is not just pushing boxes, but how do we build that relationship to truly partner with you at, at growing your business? Uh, you know, As I said, we've been around since 1989, so we're not new to this, and, and by no means um, uh, uh, is this something that um, uh, we take lightly as the relationship. Uh, so I'd like to introduce uh, Robbie Thomas, who's our director of sales. Robbie's been with us for over 15 years, almost 16 years now, uh, leading the day-to-day -day operations of our sales team. And then uh, Bryce Brendan, who's our senior inside sales cloud specialist that, that oversees the cloud initiative uh, for our organization. Both Robbie and Bryce are going to be spending uh, uh, the next few moments with you just sharing all of our cloud solutions and more importantly, how those are a benefit to specific industries and, and marketplaces, how this technology has evolved and grown over the past few years, and why it's a benefit to our dealer partners to position these cloud solutions. So without that, I'll go ahead and, and uh, let Robbie kick it off. Robbie, good morning. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Before I get started, I just wanted to reiterate, uh, thank you for, for attending and thank you for your time. Um, it's not lost on any of us that your time's valuable and for you to uh, pull off and spend, you know, 30, 45 minutes, an hour with us, it means a lot to me, and, and I certainly appreciate that. Um, as Bill mentioned, um, my name is Robbie Thomas. I'm the director of sales. I'm coming on my uh, 16th year in February. So um, I look forward to, to talking to each of y'all and, and helping y'all with uh, our technology as it evolves, meaning uh, when I started, it was VCRs, and now we're <laughs> moving into pure cloud, so it's, it's changed quite a bit over the years. Um, also on here, we have uh, Bryce Brendan. Uh, Bryce, why don't you say hello and tell us a little bit about you and your role. Hey, good morning, everybody. Just want to echo the, the message from Robbie of, of thank you so much for taking some time. Uh, my name is Bryce. Uh, some of you some of you are going to know me. I see some familiar faces in the chat there, but I uh, oversee Cloud VS and the newer hybrid cloud as well. So I really work with dealers to both position from a sales standpoint, uh, uh, both, both offerings. So looking forward to giving you guys an overview and answering any questions you have today and hopefully making it as productive as possible for y'all. Perfect, thank you, Bryce. Um, just so everyone's kind of clear on how the uh, webinar logistics or meeting logistics are gonna go, um, if you have any questions during the session, please use the uh, Q&A button at the bottom of the screen. Um, any unanswered questions will get a direct follow-up uh, from either myself or Bryce. If you have any other uh, video or access control topics you'd like us to feature in the upcoming webinars, I would love to hear feedback from y'all. Um, we we're, we kind of joke, we're... we're um, big enough to matter in the industry, but small enough to listen and make change. So if you have anything that you would like us to showcase, educate you on, even make videos, 
please, please uh, just let us know. Um, it, it helps us improve and it helps, if it helps you do your job better, it'll help you grow your business. So we just need to hear that from y'all. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Alibi Security and our cloud solutions and how they're going to um, help you grow your business. All right, Bryce, do you wanna go ahead? Sure. Yeah, so now you'll notice um, for those of you that have been here before, we're no longer just talking about Cloud VS. We're going to actually have Cloud VS and hybrid. So a couple of quick distinctions between the two and where you may want to look to position both. So Cloud VS, full cloud, uh, everything about that system is going to be cloud hosted, cloud managed, uh, direct camera to cloud. So no need for any type of on-site recording device or bridge or gateway. And then it's going to give you a Flexible retention from seven up to actually two years of storage in the cloud. Then we're going to have our, our newer hybrid cloud. This is really a um, add-on for recorder-based systems. So this is going to give you event-based recording for actually a six-month time frame. And it's going to be based off of a, a pretty powerful analytic engine that should actually dramatically reduce false positive events and archive it in a cloud environment. So more importantly for you guys, you know, kind of for, for both solutions is why in the world should you sell cloud, right? So first and foremost, the most obvious to some of you is probably gonna be RMR, right? But probably uh, more applicable even would be the amount of money and time that you're gonna save reducing your service calls and service trips. Cloud really helps cut down on truck rolls um, as well as makes it really, really easy to troubleshoot. And then just give your customers peace of mind, right? So having that footage in the cloud, especially as of late, has been extremely valuable with the number of smash and grabs and then on top of normal everyday situations like hard drive failures, right? So first and foremost, we're gonna hit on Alibi Cloud VS. So the three words you'll always hear us use is simple, scalable, secure, right? So kind of hitting on the first bullet point there, simple. Hey, Bryce, real, real quick, sorry. One thing I didn't sure. uh, I didn't mention at the very beginning, if you've got questions, things like that, um, use the um, uh, use the Q&A feature or the chat feature and, and we'll be responding to those. Um, and then we'll make sure that we get to any questions by the end. But if, as Bryce and Robbie are speaking, if you've got any questions or things like that, use either the chat or the Q&A feature and we'll respond to those. Sorry about that, Bryce. No, oh, no worries. So for Alibi Cloud VS, the, the one word you'll, you'll hear me say over and over is easy or simple, right? So from your guys' perspective, when you think about you know, what's involved in the system from a hardware perspective, just the cameras, right? So you just need the cameras. There's no bridge, no, no recording device. It's going to be a direct camera to cloud connection. It does support plug and play. So it's as simple as taking that camera routing it back to a PoE switch or even Wi-Fi for some models, connects to the data center. And then anytime you or your end users actually get on to access the system, you're accessing it directly via the cloud. So no port forwarding, no tunneling through firewalls, none of that. So on the kind of the next point there, um, cloud is very scalable. So Probably the most obvious benefit versus a recorder-based system is no channel counts, right? So if you've got a customer kind of on the fence between, you know, let's say seven and 10 cameras, right? They don't know to go with an eight or a 16. We don't have to really worry about that. Anytime you want to add a camera, regardless of not only the location of the camera or what network it's on, um, as well as, you know, whatever physical uh, hardware you have on site. It's as simple as just getting the camera, adding a license, and then you're good to go. And this really, you know, has become one of probably the most frequent selling points that I'm discussing on a daily basis is uh, multi-site management. So having the ability to actually scale the multiple properties and then tie them all back to a centrally managed account is really, really key right now, especially without having to do anything like setting up a VPN or doing port forwarding. So it makes a really clean user experience. Uh, kind of on the same note, the unlimited users of Cloud VS will really help you get into some of those types of installs as well, because you can have as many users as you want and you can even tier the access. So the, the last point there, secure. 
Um, cloud, the, there's a common misconception from some end users that cloud is inherently risky. Uh, it couldn't be much further from the truth. So we use a tier four data centers. These are the industry standard top of the line. So some of the requirements that you have to meet to be a tier four center are listed here. A couple of notable ones would be everything about it is encrypted. You've got um, triple redundancy. So your backup hard drive has a backup hard drive. The availability right there, that basically means there's virtually no downtime in the scope of a year. So your customer is not going to be, you know, having a, an unusable system. And then, um, you know, as far as just the overall security uh, and what your end users are going to care about from a network perspective, there's no inbound traffic going into your customer sites at all. So if you have customers concerned with having a really locked down network without any traffic coming back in, cloud is a really great use case. And also guys, um, probably the one thing that I heard the most as we, when we first introduced Alibi Cloud VS is, well, what if we lose internet? And Bryce kind of go into how we handle like, what if your customer loses internet? That could happen, you know, once or twice a year, maybe, you know, Bryce, explain how we, we handle that. Sure. So yeah, if, uh, if we didn't have a good answer to that question, people would probably just start logging off, right? So we added a, a, a pretty, pretty sweet feature. So basically if the internet drops on cloud VS cameras, you can actually have a internal storage via an SD card take over that recording load. And then what the camera will actually do is when the network is reestablished, the camera is actually going to take that SD footage that was recorded during the downtime and it's going to re-upload it back to the cloud and kind of put that missing puzzle piece back together on your timeline. So a lot of the times it'll even do it without you having to really uh, do anything manually. Hey, Bryce, uh, Rick would like you to sort of expand on, on what do you mean by concurrent access? Sure. Yeah, so the cloud makes it really easy to have a high volume of people logged in on an account at once due to the fact that you're not actually hitting your customer's site for everybody that logs into a cloud VS system, you're actually gonna be hitting the data center. So a great example of this would be a local um, volleyball facility we have in Austin here that they actually will give access to parents to watch games, right? So every parent that gets on and actually logs on to watch a game, they're not gonna be shutting down the, the sporting center's internet because on a traditional system, you're, let's say a camera is using two meg, second person logs in, you're using four, third person six, and so on and so on. Whereas with the cloud, you're really used leveraging the data center and all the power of the, you know, hundreds of computers that you're utilizing as opposed to just one on your customer site. And it's not just uh, the internet up that you worry about on on-premise. Um, kind of what Bryce hit on, but when you kind of think about your on-premise NVR, it has its processing power and typically you start running out of concurrent streams that you can put up to multiple users and remote locations to around five. And that's a limitation of the horsepower in your computer or your server on site. So when we're talking about multicast up in the cloud, you're not limited to the one chip and the processing power of the on-site NVR or, or uh, DVR. You're, you know, you're able to multicast because there's hundreds of processors up in the cloud. So there's no limitation. So it goes a lot further than just the limitation of your up, because a lot of times people say, well, I've got fiber, I've got gigabit. Well, you're still going to run into multicast issues or concurrent user issues uh, on premise. And it, it's just a reality of the horsepower of the CPU. All right, sorry, go ahead, Bryce, with the uh, benefits. Yeah, sure. So kind of moving into you know, why, why would I pitch cloud or as an end user, why would I buy cloud instead of a traditional system? So starting at the top, uh, you can actually experience a lower total cost of ownership. Uh, you know, obviously you're not gonna have to purchase any type of recording device on the upfront. So you'll save a little bit of money there. And then, you know, kind of combined with the second point, really you're gonna start seeing money, um, you know, back in your pocket. Uh, you're not gonna have to maintain nearly as much you're gonna experience a lot less uh, on-site fail points because you're not gonna have hard drives recorders that can fail, right? And then kind of in conjunction with those two things, the cost that you know it takes you guys to roll a truck 
or if then if you have to turn on charge your customer, right? It's just cost that's incurred from ongoing maintenance. So that's really where it's going to be minimal on the cloud. Um, kind of going to that third point, enhanced security. I kind of hit on this already, but not only from a network standpoint, are you going to be offering a much more secure form of connection, especially for people who are remote viewing? That's a huge one. Um, you're also going to be basically guaranteeing that they have some type of footage in the event of a hard, you know, a, a physical loss, right? A physical failure. Um, unparalleled accessibility. We hit on this again with the concurrent users, but basically anybody you want to give access to with any actual tiered access of, uh, or, or level of access, sorry, um, you can do so. So you can have your more admin level people with the ability to do everything, or you could have, you know, a guy that has nothing, not, can't do anything but live view two cameras, right? So you can basically create whatever structure you want. Uh, and then the scalability we hit on already. So we, we can go ahead and go to the next slide here. Well, and, and before we right. go to the next slide, guys, what I would say, and, and one of my, one of our longtime integrator dealer partners uh, brought up is when they started selling cloud and they started installing cloud, what they noticed was that not only did their, their installation cost go down, but they weren't always dependent on putting out the most seasoned tech to do the install. Meaning on on-prem, a lot of times you're, want to, you're going to want to configure everything on site, get everything set up, make sure it's all connected, and then move forward. What they found was is some of their cable pullers that were really great at pulling cable and pointing and focusing cameras, that's all they would send. So they would send a, a, a less seasoned tech because right when you plug in the Alibi Cloud VS camera, it immediately connects to the cloud. It immediately comes on, and then back at their head office, they can do any changes or modifications they can, and then that tech, all he's doing is pointing and focusing and going down to the the next install. <clears throat> so, and go ahead. The scalability, Bill. the scalability piece is is important as well. I, how many times have you installed an eight channel recorder, and then uh, your client has that ninth or that tenth area that's not covered? Now you're having to look back and and upgrade the entire recorder. Being able to add on as needed. Um, uh, you know, that ninth, that 10th, that 11th camera uh, it, it is a lot easier when you're dealing with cloud technology versus embedded. Right. Yeah, great call-outs. So, so kind of on the same theme, right? Um, you know, we got some redundancy here, but I think the important thing to take away from this slide is, you know, I, I think there is a common misconception, uh, uh, especially in a lot of our dealer partners that, you know, they understand that the cloud stores the, the data in a more secure environment. Everybody pretty much gets that, but there's a misconception that that's kind of the value of the product as a whole. So it's really important to understand that nine times out of 10, when your customer is asking for cloud, they're actually asking for one of these other pieces. And it's really cloud solving a limitation that a recorder device has. So, and a lot of it has to do with management, right? So if you look at a couple of these noticeable ones, um, you know, we've, we've already hit on a lot of these, but you'll see like concurrent viewing, unlimited channel counts, um, being able to have as many viewers on as once without crashing your bandwidth, right? Uh, this is a huge one as well, the remote access type. Um, and I'll, I'll hit on this a little bit more on the next slide when we start talking about certain industries that are adopting cloud and why, but, you know, certain industries, they can't have a port forward. Um, they, they need it to be more secure, right? So, the, the overall theme here is there is a lot more to cloud. You know, the storage is kind of the tip of the iceberg. And that's why we encourage you to, you know, learn these and rely on us to help you with these because that's most of the time what a customer is going to actually be asking you for. So you may be asking who's asking for this, right? So a year ago, we didn't really have this data, right? It was almost more hypothetical, but we're seeing the shift happen now. So before it was, hey, it's coming. Now it's here. And these are some of the notable industries that we've seen really start to adopt the cloud and even uh, take the position of, hey, give me a cloud quote. I will not accept an NVR quote. So starting at the top here, retail and restaurants, especially when you start talking about uh, multiple locations, this is huge. And you'll see that multiple locations is a really common um, denominator for a lot of these, right? But uh, multi-site locations, hey, they may have one or two people in charge of all the maintenance for that system, 
across 10 plus locations and then they may have a manager for each store, right? So they want to be able to see everything themselves in one environment, manage their people, um, and then have, you know, tiered access for each property, right? So we're able to do that with cloud. Uh, moving down to medical facilities, th this is probably, if not number one, it's a close number two for the fastest growing that I've seen. And it has to do a lot with network security and remote access, right? So um, do for a lot of reasons, both uh, HIPAA compliance and uh, you know the laws that they have with certain insurances, they got to have a lockdown network, especially since medical facilities are, are really big targets for for potential hackers. So they are saying, hey, we, we want to view offsite. And to be able to do that, we absolutely have to have a VPN or cloud, and they don't want a VPN. So med medical is, is huge right now. Um, cannabis, this is another great one. Cannabis, most states are saying, hey, you have to have 90 days of retention, and it has to be offsite, um, or it has to be backed up to another recorder in another room on your facility. So not only is it going to be the most, you know, smooth setup that you can give them, um, it's actually going to save them a lot of, you know, additional hardware costs and even in some cases management costs of having to split that recording into a whole other area of their business that with a cloud system, they don't even have to have. So another great, great use case. Uh, one that I've been talking to more and more frequently as well as education and schools. Um, a lot of the time when I talk to schools, it's a combination of network security, number one, and number two, um, lots and lots of cameras with very low number of IT staff. So cloud overall really helps, you know, IT managers, loss prevention managers make the most of their time and not have to, you know, get it in over their heads and dedicate an entire afternoon to find one simple little event on a timeline, right? So, um, you really end up making their quality of life a lot better. And then uh, again, anything multi-site, multi-user is a great application. So th this I think is a really key slide for you guys to take away from this and it's the competitive positioning. And the reason that this is so important to me is because there's two very extreme ends of the spectrum right now when you're talking about cloud. There's really, really cheap, more like residential focused cloud offerings that you can go pick up at Best Buy, right? Everybody's aware of them. And then, you know, for a commercial application, it's probably not going to cut it, right? Then on the other far extreme, there's more enterprise-focused solutions that are very feature-risk robust offerings, but oftentimes for your average everyday install, I mean, they'll cost you an arm and a leg. They're very cost prohibitive. So what we identified early on was there's kind of this weird no man's land in the middle which tends to be a, a really big chunk of the market. And we realized, hey, if we can give people in this section the cloud benefits that they're asking for without having to charge some crazy enterprise level price, right? That's really going to be our sweet spot. And that's really where we found our stride as of late. So kind of shifting lenses a little bit here. We we understand um, we kind of have two different profiles of dealers right now, right? We've got dealers that, you know, the cloud may fit your, you know, uh, customer base really well. And you may have a lot of those industries that we hit on a couple of slides back. But we do have, you know, the other 80% or, or so of our dealers that, um, you know, that you're just going to keep selling NVRs. If it ain't broke, don't fix it but you do want to have some pathway to achieve cloud storage and then RMR from that, right? So that's really where Alibi Hybrid Cloud is going to come into play. So over the, you know, past X amount of years, you know, the video security has, you know, experienced a lot of enhancements. You know, the megapixels have gone up. Um, you know, we've getting better video, better analytics, but one thing that's really kind of stayed where it's at is cloud backup, right? So traditionally you'd have to do it on, you know, some kind of like um, janky setup with Google Drive or Dropbox and you have to have a whole separate device backed up. So it's just never really a clean setup or an easy pitch, right? Not really worth your time most of the time. So that's really the problem that we're solving with this, right? So what hybrid cloud is gonna provide 
it's going to give your customers cloud backup for alibi recorders, right? Whether it's witness or vigilant, we'll work on both. It's going to use a AI powered engine that is very, very powerful and will reduce false alarms by over 95% in a lot of cases, which is very, very good. And there's actually going to be some built in health monitoring components as well. So we're, we're adding to this uh, more and more, but right now, Hey, is my camera recording or not? Right. Uh, especially to end users that don't even look at the dang, the dang box until they have an incident take place. And then they go back and see, Oh, camera was offline. Right. So we're trying to take a little bit more of a, uh, insurance policy and proactive approach to those situations. So as far as how it, we actually set hybrid cloud up, it, it's actually pretty simple. So all we're going to do is actually connect that IP of the recorder to the cloud. And then once it communicates, we're just going to piggyback off the recorder and it's going to integrate with the camera streams. So it's actually camera agnostic. Um, then you're going to get those clips. The, the cloud will actually host the analytics. So you don't need you know, smart sense cameras or anything like that to, to utilize this platform. It'll all be cloud hosted. And then it's gonna take those events and it's gonna actually store them in the cloud environment. And obviously for you guys, the big takeaway is no additional hardware compared to what you would already be selling on a normal Alibi NVR DVR. Uh, again, works on both IP and HD recorders, uh, new or existing. So obviously existing is kind of the lowest hanging fruit right now. If you're looking for a really, really path or really, really easy pathway to go back and make some easy RMR. Hit everybody up that you've ever sold a system to, let them know you got it and, and boom, you're good, right? Um, and then you will get unlimited video clips for six months. So it is very robust compared to a lot of what's out there in the marketplace right now. Most people are doing 30 to 60 days. And then uh, again, really pretty light lift for you guys to get some RMR uh, and use the subscription-based model. And guys, what I'd probably mention the most is, is over and over we've heard dealers saying, man, I want to get into cloud. I want to get into cloud. And they just struggle because their business model comes from the analog VCR days up into now the NVR days. And that is their business model. They're very structured for on-premise. Well, this gives you another bullet in, in your, your gun, so to speak, to go out and say, hey, Mr. Customer, most of our on-premise devices record for about 30 days. What this does is we can now add choke point cameras, you know, a select number of cameras on your location, and they're going to go for six months. It gives you a light health monitoring as well that, it, that is actually being developed to be even more robust and more to come on that. But then it gives your customer a lot of peace of mind. And then the price point is similar to what you would see more towards the residential side for your customer, meaning, you know, you're not going to break, break the bank for them as they make this choice. So it makes it real easy. Everything we try to do for y'all is removal of barriers, make it easy on implementation, take feedback from you, make change when needed, and continue to grow um, different things that we see as opportunities for y'all. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that, Rush, you can go ahead. Another, uh, you know, also where this is a, a big advantage is, is any of your existing installs that you have, which, you know, all of you have a lot of existing on-prem uh, technology out there, whether it be Hike Vision, whether it be Witness, whether it be Vigilant. This is a perfect opportunity for you to go back and position cloud backup, especially as, as Robbie and Bryce, Bryce have both said, for those, you know, uh, uh, those critical camera, whether it be over a register or over a choke point or an entry point, uh, that if the recorder is, is stolen or taken off site or something, you have that cloud backup. Correct. Ross, sure. go in and talk about how much more robust the uh, cloud analytics are compared to, to most of most cameras uh, analytics. Sure. Yeah. So the, the analytics guys are, you know, being that they are cloud hosted and kind of taking advantage of, you know, not just a single, you know, recorder device, but everybody that's utilizing the cloud, they are probably the most accurate analytics I've ever personally seen. So False positive reduction is, is a huge thing that I talk about with customers on a daily basis. And, you know, again, the, the poor guy that gets stuck on some of these systems going back and finding footage when he's got, you know, hundreds or if not thousands of false positives, it, it can be a real pain in the butt. So 
with this, we're, we're not going to say you're going to eliminate all of them, but it's going to be about as low as you're ever going to have. And then one thing as well as kind of teeing something, some things up for the future, I guess, is the backbone that we're, we're building this on is actually capable of a lot more than we even have right now. So at launch, we're, have, we're going to have human and vehicle detection. So usually those are two of the most applicable detections you can get, right? But over the, the course of the next year or so, it's really going to evolve. And we're basically going to be able to onboard, you know, the majority of analytics that you're getting asked for are going to be available on this system. And then you just tack it onto your normal system, right? Tack it onto your NVR. So instead of having to go sell a mega dollar system to get a certain analytic, you guys can actually just tack it onto what you're already selling. Yeah, and some of those analytics are, 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 are pretty interesting as they flesh them out from slip and falls for like a grocery store to a gun identification before it actually is used as a, a precursor or a pre-notification. Um, also, the analytics are so strong that it, it's making these 95% uh, true identifications with like three frames per second. So when we talk about you know, the power of the cloud and, and things that you get to add when you start using the cloud. It's really about the CPU horsepower and how much stronger you can make your analytics because you're not limited to the horsepower of just one camera or what, what chip is used in that one camera. So it really opens up a lot of doors and we're seeing these opportunities come up more and more and we're listening to feedback from y'all and we're adding them on you know, as they develop out, just based off of feedback and observation. <clears throat> so going back to kind of revisiting, um, you know, both solutions from a 30,000 foot view and, you know, for you guys understanding, when should I be positioning each? Because it can get muddy if you don't have this down, right? So for Cloud VS, um, sell it when somebody's asking for cloud for a reason other than storage, right? Keep it simple. So somebody doesn't want an on-premise device, somebody has network compliance reasons, or let's say management, right? It's just all those other cloud reasons, you're gonna be in the world of cloud BS. If somebody is wanting cloud backup on their existing system, hybrid cloud is easily gonna be the way to go. So, um, and then as well as those more robust analytics, right? That's gonna be offered on the hybrid cloud. So obviously for your existing installs, this is gonna be the way to go as well. Um, and also for light health monitoring as well on their existing systems. Uh, revisiting why you should sell cloud in, in general. Um, RMR, save money on your, your uh, truck rolls, give your customers peace of mind. And then I would add a fourth point there and say, people are, you know, it is 100% it is inevitable at this point, you are going to get approached about this. Um, I wouldn't have told you that a year ago, but it's it's happening. So just be ready for it and know what they're asking for and then pick what solution to offer them. And then um, one thing we're doing to kind of help you guys put all your resources in one place for both Cloud VS and Hybrid Cloud is our certified dealer program. So there's a lot of things that come with this for both solutions. Um, so Basically, you become a priority for, you know, direct uh, lead gen. Um, more importantly, I think for me is you get uh, our entire dedicated cloud support team. So that's going to be me among other individuals. And one area that I really like to call out where we um, really can provide a lot of value to you guys and your businesses is helping you with the sales process, especially to start. because. Everything else on a cloud system, honestly, is pr is pretty easy. Probably going to be the easiest system you've ever installed. So, you know, we really want to help you with the other piece, right? So one thing that we do is if you've got an end user that you want to get us on the phone with or actually have us provide a live demonstration for, we're happy to do it. We have very good success rates doing so. Um, and then, you know, also along with that, you want to train individuals in your organization. You want to have a follow-up one-on-one -on -one with me or one of my colleagues and learn more for yourself, right? We're happy to do so. And then also you get a, a host of marketing materials for both solutions as well as microsites. So again, that's just gonna be an easy way to um, capitalize on, you know, you know uh, 
ops that actually do get in front of your face, you know, having some collateral to go and, and uh, point to some successes that we've had in the past and show them the, the list of benefits that apply to them. Um, that's really going to be the main benefit there. All right. Um, Bryce, we got several questions. And, and uh, before we, we kick that off, um, you know, once again, as Bryce said, you know, we're available uh, uh, to do demos with you, to do demos with your end users and your clients on uh, your clients on both technologies. So take advantage of that as you're out positioning the value of this solution. Take advantage of the opportunity for us to represent you and, and demo either one of these solutions. All right, uh, let's go through the questions. So, Bryce, uh, uh, Mark is asking about AI analytics uh, for Cloud VS. Sure. Yep. So for Cloud VS right now, it's basically going to be uh, you can do people detections or you can generalize it a little bit so that you get uh, a more vague detection called an object detection. So what's going to be in an object detection are vehicles, uh, maybe forklifts in a warehouse setting, animals, just could ba basically broaden it a little bit. So Cloud VS's analytics won't be as robust as hybrid cloud. Uh, a lot of times they don't need to be, though, because you have that continuous recording. And it's really about, you know, it's, it's not the primary means of storing the data because we're going to have it 24-7. The analytics on the cloud are really, really for two things. It's putting a tag to make searching forensically a lot faster. And then number two, you can do proactive notifications based off of those as well. All right. Uh, on the hybrid side, uh, in the event the NVR fails, is uh, the, the cloud backup still running? Yeah, so that could be, well, uh, NVR can fail for a couple of reasons, right? So obviously, if the whole thing craps to bed and you've got no hardware to send anything, you may have a hard time, right? But let's say, for example, the most common fail point fails, the hard drive, right? In that case, you're going to have nothing on the physical device whatsoever. We'll still be storing in the cloud environment. Robbie, you have anything right. to add to that? Yeah, uh, the only thing I would add to that is you know, you'll get notification if like the camera quits going to the cloud as well. So there's a light health monitoring right now. We're actually um, based off of dealer feedback from, from people like you that are attending. We're actually making it way, uh, <clears throat> a lot more robust. And you'll see over the next few months that it'll be a, a kind of a full health monitoring suite to, to notify you past what is actually being recorded to the cloud. And uh, it, it's going to be really, really exciting as we as we move into 2022. Uh, all right. Uh, can you speak a little bit about our plans for MX integration? <clears throat> sure. Yep. So I got, I'll hit that on the, the Cloud VS side primarily. So we have heard a lot of dealers requesting um, to have some more, you know, uh, monitoring capabilities integrated into the platform. So we're actually actively working to integrate Cloud VS with MX right now. So that, uh, I'm not gonna put an ETA in a webinar because then you guys can point fingers at me when it doesn't happen. But um, well, it's, it's uh, actively getting worked on right now. We're very excited for it. And that'll help us have a little bit more of a, you know, proactive component to Cloud VS. So we're, we're very excited about that. And on the hybrid solution, it's already there. So both on Witness and Vigilant, MX has already completed the integration. So, you know, as most of you probably know, MX is probably the most uh, widely used software for any central monitoring station. So when you're getting your Berg monitored with MX or with your central monitoring station, they're probably using MX. And we've already uh, knocked down all that integration needs or requirements. Uh, so you can do it today with hybrid. And I'll, uh, I'll tie, tie Bryce closer to a date. Our goal is Q2. Uh, by Q2 for, for image integration. So um, working on that. Um, several questions about um, uh, bandwidth uh, requirements for both hybrid and, um, and cloud. Can you expand on that a little bit about what are the, the uh, minimum bandwidth requirements for both? Sure. Yeah, so Cloud VS is going to require a little bit more, obviously, being that it's 24-7 and um, mainstream law in a lot of cases. So I use an estimator for every single job and it works every single time. It's you want to use about half a megabit per second upload speed per megapixel of cloud stream. So we have two options, right? You've got one megapixel, you've got two megapixel. So it's really easy math. 
on the one, about half a meg is fine. Unless you want to do like, you know, 25 frames on a, on a basketball court, in which case they may tell you to go up a little bit more. But usually that estimator is, is really close. And if you want an absolute worst case, you know, never going to reach um, your cap estimator, you can use two megabit per second upload per camera, in which case you would be in the clear by a long ways. Uh, and then for hybrid, hybrid is, is very minimal in comparison because it's, again, like Robbie was saying, it doesn't need much. Uh, you're just piggybacking off the substream, in some cases the mainstream as well, uh, with a lower frame rate. So comparatively, uh, for the majority of people, hybrid is actually going to be significantly lower than that. Robbie, um, feel free to keep me, keep me true on that. No, that, that's correct. Yeah, we, you know, we, we know there's barriers out in the marketplace. And one of them is just how fast is the internet for your customer? We've taken all that into account and we've come up with uh, lower requirements than a lot of our competitors to really set yourself apart. So no matter which way you go, we should be able to get you taken care of. So it, 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 it's pretty nominal or low. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, we've got several uh, uh, people asking about a, a um, uh, for us to show the, the, the uh, interface for, for both of these. What I'd recommend, and, and the goal of this webinar was to give a broad overview. We've got several uh, short videos on our YouTube channel, on Alibi Security's YouTube channel that goes in more depth with both these technologies. Plus, as I said, connect with your account manager and they'll sync you with, with Bryce uh, or someone else on his team to do a demo for you. And we do plan on fan following up this web webinar with uh, continued deep dives in both technologies. But if you go to our YouTube channel, there's tons of videos out there about both of these technologies that go in in depth about them. Um, the uh, uh, Lance asking about uh, the uh, access and, and how granular the access is uh, on the VS side. Yes, what's great about it is all point and click all the way down to your uh, guest users and what you want them to have access to, uh, whether you want them to access view, recorded, make changes. All of that is, is granular all the way down, just as it would, would be for a uh, on-prem system and even more so, and, and it's ease of use of doing. Um, and, and, and to add to that, imagine a daycare where you have you know, 600 parents and they all wanna see little Johnny in their room. You can get really granular and give very limited access to just where little Johnny's gonna be at. And, and that's an RMR opportunity in it, in and of itself for your customer. So you can get very granular, you can control everything on the cloud. And that's probably one of the bigger selling points for, for pure cloud. Go ahead, Bill. Uh, Arnold asked a great question and, and like you to expand on this price, assuming a customer or end user ask about confidentiality, privacy about their videos, uh, what shall we say to them? And we sell, uh, uh, we position the solution a lot for healthcare and medical facilities uh, where you have very strict HIPAA compliance. Bryce, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, that, that's a great question. And a lot of people are tentative to that because there are some other solutions that have you know, cloud in their name that have been exposed for um, you know, having more access than they should, right? So basically what our setup is, is we have access to absolutely nothing on your video data unless the end user specifically allows us to have access. So we have a tool um, and you guys have this tool to utilize as well on any, any um, you know, job that you sell where you can actually have the customer enable remote support for you at, where you can actually go in and help them without needing another credential. And then um, they can either choose to leave that open for you or they can set an expiration period on it. So they could say, okay, dealer, you can help me for one hour or four hours or whatever it may be. But unless the end user actually goes in and turn that, turns that on, it is off by default and we won't be able to access anything on your, your camera data whatsoever. That's a great question. And it's, it's defaulted to off. And, and also keep in mind, our data center is stored here in Austin, Texas. So it's not located uh, uh, offshore. Um, you know, the T4 data center is located here in Austin. Uh, let's see, any other questions out there uh, that, that anybody has some great questions and, and great feedback? Fantastic, go to the next slide. 
And that about wraps it up. Uh, you know, as I said, this video is going to be available on uh, our YouTube channel within the next couple of days. If you're looking for a PDF version of this uh, presentation that we that we presented to you, so that you could use it with your with your clients and your end users, get with your account manager. Uh, all of that's available through your dashboard online as well, uh, so you can access your dashboard and download all, all of this information, pricing and price list, and all of that. Also, your dashboard on uh, alibi.com's website, you can download that price list or you can get directly with your account manager. You know, we're excited about the solution. We're excited about continuing to evolve and grow this solution. And we're available. We're available to, to demo to you, to demo to your end users. If you have large projects, things like that, uh, we're able to, to set up a demo account for you to go in and and uh, show your end user the integration walkthrough, things like that. So we really wanna work with you as you're learning this technology, as it's emerging and it's growing, utilize us as your subject matter experts and engage when you need. Other than that, as always, we appreciate the partnership and the opportunity to support you. And uh, we look forward to, to visit with you soon. And hey, Bill, one more, one more thing guys, before you head out. We are going to have a, a couple more webinars coming up as well. We're going to take a deeper dive into different areas of our cloud solutions. So we're going to have some more focused on hybrid as well as some focused by industry on cloud VS. So stay tuned for that. Be watching for it. And we'll hopefully see you again pretty soon. Take care.